Hey, welcome back to another toy review. Um, in this review, we're going to be taking a look at something I found on clearance when I was out figure hunting. These are uh, Hex Bugs Junk Bots dumpsters. Um, they have these on clearance. Here's a small one, all 49, regular five bucks. And then they have these medium sized ones that are ten dollars, are on clearance for two ninety nine. And those are the larger ones too, like the big ones are 20 bucks, which are not on clearance for some reason, as of yet. I figured I'd pick these up, check them out, maybe use some custom pieces in there for customs. You never know what you find. Um, so, let's take a look at it. Right, it comes with plastic wrap, so I'll go ahead and remove that now, and we'll take a look at the uh, overall uh, container. But, if you want to... This is July 21st of 2021, clearance at Target. If you're interested, here they are. Give your Target a call as a heads up and uh, see what you can find. Okay, so I took the plastic wrap off. Um, look at the packaging on the front here with junk bots. Um, random, random, I guess. Random pieces in these things are like buying dumpsters. Two of 36 characters, and plus you get one light module, which is pretty cool. If it's a light, you can make some kind of custom for like your really cool displays. Uh, some kind of light module for your like your mechs or robots or vehicles. On this side, we have uh, we're going to unlock, we're going to search and build. We have warning: checking out the small parts, not for children under three. Here's some kind of advertisement crap. Hex bugs logo. Um, so you just three and up, 30 plus pieces. That's the top of it. Dumpster. This is a plastic dumpster. It's the back of it. Here's a UPC if you need to call, if you want to buy these in clearance. A mystery pack. Oh, yeah, so. I hope, I hope I get him getting like something cool like a, the, the boom box or the stereo. That's pretty awesome. bottom so these are pretty cool you can actually reuse these these are like a chain toe chain or something it's like a rubberish material it's not too stretchy but it do stretch a little bit but you get to lock the pegs into any one of these little holes and then you get a larger piece on the end and then a hook on this side so you definitely could use this for something in your uh, dios They're pretty cool so um this is just a piece of cardboard. So this, uh, this is plastic. So this, you could repaint these for customs for your displays. If you look, there is a lot of uh, different uh, graffiti on here. Slime running down. Some splashes of just nastiness. So you can make these out pretty cool for like sitting beside your buildings. Um, it's not really scale too well. Uh, not too bad. What 118 scale figure. And if you're interested, uh, I didn't do it in my first one so i picked up two of these so i have two videos for these and i picked up one of these just to see what they were like and uh so i, I definitely want to paint these up for my uh displays so look for the small one in a medium video if you guys are interested to see what's in there because i have no idea so here we go the lid is on a hinge which is really nice and we have some paper Looks like we got some kind of instructions for a robot. Oh, this guy here. I guess some another instructions. Do we get a chainsaw? That would be awesome. I don't know what the chainsaw is. It's got kind, of, it's kind of weird looking. Yeah, a nice clock for your displays. Let's see what we get. It's like we have a half foods shopping bag. It's made out of cardboard. This is definitely not one eighteen scale for the cardboards. So, but you do get one if you're interested for something. Okay, some Chinese food. And the uh, this is just cardboard. But um, it could be a very large serving for your figures. And we did get that clock. That, that is pretty cool. <laughs> it looks like you can. Yep, you can turn. This mechanism here, but you turn this this piece. We'll have to check that out. That's interesting. So we get a couple of trash bags. 
It seems like there's parts in here. We'll take a look at this here in a minute. Let's see what else is in here. Life raft. I thought I'll fit a 118 scale figure. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I can't get past his, uh, his gun holster though, but it looks like it would. No problem. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, if your uh, troops fall off the uh, boat, you can throw your life raft, put a string on it or something. Wow, look at this thing. What is this? Got a big old shot back. This is pretty cool. Look what this thing does. Another one is a working mechanism, but it does something. Oh, yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Let me find something to plug in there. Uh, we got a hat. Yeah, that's not gonna work for us. We have a box of diapers. I've seen this in a single one. We got some more trash bags. We have a total of four so far. Ooh, we did get the chainsaw. This is great. Now, if we paint this up, customize this thing, this would be maybe hack that piece off. I don't know. Be pretty cool. I uh, got this hole here. Sure, what we could do with that, but that's yeah. For all these little pieces for like three bucks, I mean, you never know what you can come up with when you're, when you're customizing tennis racket or hole in it. Yeah. I'm really interested in some kind of light up modules in here. I don't know what this is. See, stuff like this, you could just make something out of like customization stuff. We got a, we have an iron, blue iron. Um, got a tire, gray tire, ball tire, pretty much. That's pretty cool. What do we got here? This is a light module, I bet. Yeah, how do you turn it on over here? Oh, you guys see that? It's a green light. Yeah, so you can stick that in here for your mechs and stuff. That's cool. I actually think there's someone said there's fiber optics. Fiber optics in here. We'll have to find out. Oh, yep, there it is. It's either fiber optics or just cheap plastic tubing. What's it got here? Um, I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of like working pedals. And I think what happens, you can put three of these in these slots. And then, oh yeah, look at that. Then you have a, this would be cool for your max. Very awesome. Let's see if we can find some, oh, there is another one in there. So there's two. Let's see if we can go for a third one. Do we get lucky? There's a lot of pieces in here. I don't know what this is. And we have a smaller tire. Use it for something. Oh, look, we got another one. That's awesome. Take a look at that here in a second. Got this thing. I'm sure what that is. And we have a power poop. Oh, what that is. That's nasty. Let's see what we got here. Yes, it is a third hole. And then we turn this bad boys on. Oh, yeah. That's worth the three bucks right there. Fiber optics, hook them up for like maintenance. Like for my Mac back here. That would be cool. Energizing your Mac. I don't know, you can use your imagination. That's pretty awesome. Get some kind of wrench. Uh, big old nut. Cylinder. And there's a lot of stuff in here for three bucks. Oh, we got another little tire. Check it out. So now we have two of those things. Cool. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this thing. I'm going to put this aside. See, so definitely. Cool. That's a cool custom piece right there. What we got in here? Oh, another one of those. Uh, so I got two of these things. Those might be rims for the tires. I've thought about that. Oh, good. We got another one of those. Those are awesome. 
do like those pieces. Definitely use that for something. Um, what is this? Not sure. You know what? That might fit for these guys. Oh yeah, look at this. Let's see what it does. All kind of rotates the inside guts, gears. Hmm. Very cool. And then let's take a look at this piece. Yep. The clock goes back and forth. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Interesting. Well worth the three bucks. I'm happy. Wow, that's small. What is that? No idea. This is a bar barrel, a white one. And this thing it could be like a shoulder joint. I don't know what that is. We got a pizza box from Mrs. Tick's Pizza. I think I got one of these on a single one. Yeah. You can, these actually ain't too bad. Glue that down. Get pizza for your troops if you're into that. I'm not much into cardboard stuff. Um, another device can be made for something. We got a hinge of balls on. And then we have another one of these things. Cool. Oh, look at this. What's this? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> First I thought it was a saw, but it's not a saw. It could be like a smoke pipe antenna. Whatever you want it to be. Okay. So, oh, I got one of those claws. That's perfect. I like these things. So I'm happy. I got like several pieces that are cool. I got this thing. What that is. And we got a comb. They tell you this is a mustache for the bot. I've seen on that paper. That's how it looks like. Very awesome. Let's see what we got here. All the batteries for the uh, module, the light module. That's cool. It's a washing machine there. Yeah, I'm not interested in building the bots. Just get the parts for customizations. So that's what you get in there. If that helps you out at all. Um. So what time? Let's see here. So I'm getting like four trash bags, which is really cool. Maybe you could take the parts out, fill them, and then have them in your display for like trash in your like your back alleys, the back of your building. So I said, I'm gonna go ahead and try to open these up and see what's in them. Be right back. Good. Those things are very hard to open. So I got three pieces in this little bag. Get that in there. We have this piece. I think I got this piece in that single one. Huh. Same piece. I think I know there's a barbells joint pieces, I think. I got this green piece here. Alright, let's see what's in this bag. Alright, so I got this one open. Like I got another bag you can use for maybe trash for displays. <laughs> so I got a shoe. So uh overscaled, so that's eh, alright. You got some kind of another device we can use to create something. And we got this piece. Lots of pieces here. Alright. Bag number three. I'll tell you what, that tape, that tape ties are pretty rough. Especially if you're trying to save these bags for like, you know, I thought maybe for trash or something. Stuff from like some kind of cotton or something maybe. And then, uh, but if you're not trying to save them, just rip them. Hey, this thing. I don't know what the, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a stand. I don't know, I got an umbrella stand. <laughs> I don't know. And we got uh, this device. And then one of those ball bell, bells, joint thingy, my bobs. See, now, bag number four. Okay, here we go. Put that bag a little bit. As you can see there, tape is tough. Got this thing. Oh yeah, got all those claws. That's cool. Four of those things now. It's awesome. 
I'm not sure what this is. Two ten blue and gray. So that's it for all those parts, but you get a ton. I mean, look at all these little pieces here, if you guys can see all that. A lot of stuff that you could create. I mean, if you want to do, if you collect these, you know, build them in your box. You get this ch cool chain. And this is really cool. Let's see what this does. These fit anywhere to light this guy up. Let's see if we turn this thing on. Yeah, definitely get some light inside there. If you put them um, in a hole. Maybe here. Around here. That stuff, two hands. <laughs> Three hands for that. They don't fit or anything. I mean, you can customize it too. This is actually pretty cool. Might be able to make something for my, my mech area. Uh, the clock, does it light up at all? Oh, it looks like you would stick these here. The cables don't fit. Stick these somewhere in these holes. But you could light up the inside of that if you wanted to. Oh, that fit in there. Look. That's really cool. Where did that thing go? Um, I don't know where that piece went ahead. Uh, here we go. Nope, oh, it might fit. Kind of offsetting, but yeah, you can turn this thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I mean, just for fun, I mean, let's take a look at my Mac. My Mac, and I can utilize these key. Plug these things into his arms or light him up somehow, maybe for some of his custom lights. Because this thing's about your product, I hide this in one of his bags, maybe one of these pouches, and have the lights come out. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have to think about that. That's not a bad idea. Alright guys, so I made these videos just basically to show you guys if you anybody out there that's a subscriber collects these the, um, that check your targets. Uh, it's a heads up kind of a bonus for my channel. Uh, give them a call. Hopefully you guys can find some if you want them. I think I may go back and get maybe another one of these to get some more of these. I think I, someone said there's a red one seen one time uh, but you don't get these light modules and these small ones you get them in a the medium size one I think you may get two in a bigger one if I was looking at them in a the store but I'm not totally sure it could be random but you at least get one in here because it says on the packaging where the packaging went to I don't know idea turn down stuff yeah see one light module you don't get any and this one but overall, pretty cool. For me, I'll be customizing the dumpsters. And we will be having some display pieces. This is really interesting how I could use this for customization. Even for like in your vehicles. For whatever you want. It's your, uh, it's your ideas, man. I mean, this is really interesting. I really like that. Very cool. All right, guys, that's about all I got for you. I hope you guys like this. I'll give you an idea for some customs, give you a heads up on prices, check your targets. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and build the robots because I have really no interest in. I'll, I'll build one of the robots for like the single ones. I have two of these single ones. I'll put up two videos for them so you guys can check them out just for fun. Um, but these are what the two robots would look like if I built them. We have Gus with the clock. We have Turbo. Uh, I kind of like this thing without that stupid life raft on his head. Maybe we can figure out, put some wheels on this. But oh, look, he does have wheels. I might actually build this, but leave this piece off. Hmm, yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe you can have like a little droid for your cleaning droid for your maintenance area or whatever you want to use him for. Pretty sweet. Okay. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.